All right, guys, how is it going? Uh, this is set four here of the semifinals. Um, it is played out of order a little bit. Uh, for those of you who are watching the save VODs, you won't notice the difference, uh, but we uh, are still waiting for the results for set three. I do know that after set two, um, it was 2-0 uh, Tsinghua University. Um, here we have, uh, playing for Ch Tsinghua University, we have a Big Zerg. And uh, playing for Beijing University, we've got Pex. It's going to be another Zerg versus Zerg here, this time on Talcross. Um, evidently, nobody likes Terran here in the uh, in the Cotter Cup. They just don't like the Terrans. Seen plenty of ZVZs, PVZs, and PVPs. So um, so far, Tsinghua University has been doing the games I've watched, at least, an astounding job, playing quite well. And uh, really just, you know, showing why they deserve to be here um, and not Korea. Uh, or rather, the specific school, Korean Advanced Institute, um, you know, who was beaten by Jinghua. I mean, I, I am still stunned by that. I thought, and everybody thought, you know, when we announced this, that, oh, you invited a Korean team. Well, uh, I think I know who's going to win. You know, the Korean team, it's uh, guaranteed. You know, it's as if you invited, like, you know... Like even the worst Korean team, if you invite like Eastro um, into this tournament, I mean Eastro's B team, yeah, that's you know we, we would just get everyone else just completely destroyed. But um, in this case, the Korean collegiate team uh, managed to get beaten by this very very strong Tsinghua team, who I gotta call is the favorite here uh, to win this whole thing. We're gonna see a 12 something here from Big Zerg. It's gonna be a 12 pool, and we're seeing a 12 hatch in the base hatch. For Beijing's uh, Pex, this is going to be very interesting to watch. Pex is level 4, and Big Zerg's level 10. One day, one of them might be level 9,000. <laughs> but maybe if they become a Korean pro gamer. Um, so a 12 hatch in the base is actually pretty good against a uh, 12 pool. Especially if it's a 12 pool in the base, as we're seeing here from Big Zerg. So neither player wants to expand, despite you know the fact that um, had these been both professionals, they both would have expanded for sure, but you have to be very confident with your Ling Micro um, in order to do that, because it's so, so easy to uh, have the opponent just run by your natural um, and, and kill off all your drones in the main. Uh, however, on the pro scene, they are that good with blocking uh, equal numbers of Lings. They can just block them perfectly, and therefore they're, they're very able to pick up their expansion. However, um, of course, both of these guys, despite being very good Chinese players, are not pros, and uh, therefore they're both going in the base, um, it, you know, with their second hatch. But this is really going to benefit the 12th pooler, I'm uh, sorry, the 12th hatcher, who is Pex. Pex is definitely going to pick up an advantage from this. He's actually going speed first. We'll see if he pulls drones off gas. Um, no, he's going to keep mining, actually, so he is going to just uh, get a bunch of lings and then move on from there. Um, we're going to see Lair first here for Big Zerg, so that's something going for him. Definitely going in his favor here, in terms of the tech, but like I said before, he is going to be um, slightly behind otherwise, though, because of the 12 pool versus the 12 hatch builds. Uh, we're just going to see more lings out for Pex, um, because he started off with a uh, earlier second hatch. He's now got his lair going up. It is going to be much later. This is, right now, we're looking at Pex's lair. Actually, no, it's not much later. See, this is the advantage of um, the 12 hatch build. You really can get everything you need. And uh, still managed to, um, you know, not be very much behind in terms of uh, anything against the 12 pool. You can get more lings, you can get a uh, your your ling speed first, and you still aren't behind in lair. So it is hard to deal with a um, 12 hatch in the base if you want 12 pool in the base. You just are behind. It's kind of like that nine pool over pool situation. Um, and we'll see what Big Zerg can do about it. Big Zerg, of course, um, I don't know if he knows about it, but. Uh, his team is up 2-0 at the end of game 2. This is set 4, so uh, if he wins this, this could make set 3 redundant. Of course, we'll still watch it. It's just being played right now, and I didn't want to uh, delay the casts at all. We've got a pretty diverse crowd here. Um, it seems that we've got 1,000. We've hit 1,000. All right. 1,003 viewers here on this stream. Thank you very much for joining me here this morning. Saturday, uh, May 9th today, and uh, tonight we'll be having the Cotter Cup Finals, where one of these two teams will face up against MIT. Orange Zerg here, Pex. Um, <laughs> looks like uh, Big Zerg, I guess he wasn't content just sending an Overlord up there. He probably didn't realize that uh, Pex is actually down at the bottom right. 
Pex also um, not going to be able to scout. Actually, I'm sorry. He is going to be able to scout uh, Big Zerg, and he's going to see the Spire. Um, Big Zerg now approaching Pex's uh, choke point, but this choke point is so hard to break that I do not think he's going to be able to do it unless Pex actually messes up his Ling Micro here. Pex not engaging with all of his Lings, but he has actually, no, he's managing to make a nice funnel here, and wow. Big Zerg going to go for it, though. How does Big Zerg have more Lings? I have... Oh my god, I have no clue how that happened. Big Zerg was not supposed to have more Lings in this situation. But Big Zerg is not taking advantage of the situation. He needs to go in right now before the Lings come out. Big Zerg, where's he doing? I have no idea. Um, but it looks like Pex has now recovered uh, with a number of Lings. And, and this is going to uh, probably allow him to defend. But he might still lose a couple of drones here. He is getting now a bunch of Lings coming out. Uh, and Red, uh, Big Zerg making a, a big error there, I gotta say. Big Zerg with a big error, um, not attacking at that perfect opportunity. He wasted about 10 seconds not attacking, and that could be uh, what saves big, what saves Pex here. Oh my god! What the hell is going on? Alright. Big Zerg evidently also brought all of his drones into the middle of the map. <laughs> what? What just <laughs> Oh my god. Alright, GG coming for Big Zerg as he realizes that he has shot himself in the face with a large caliber gun instead of shooting his opponent in the face. So, Big Zerg loses by almost a forfeit of sorts. <laughs> I have no idea what he was trying to do. I, I don't know if he was trying to do some kind of drone attack or something, but... Wow, epic fail coming from Big Zerk. Um, no offense to him, but that was epic. Epically failed. Um, Pex wins the game by default because Big Zerk brought all of his drones into the middle map. Big Zerk infested by the spirit of Hyuk. That's right, that was a Hyuk move. When you're ahead and yet you lose the game. All right. Well, that's the summary for set four. <laughs> I'm glad that Beijing was on the uh, winning side here because that means we are not going to see a blowout. Tsinghua University losing set four. Um, stay tuned right now. Uh, for those of you who are watching live, set three will be coming. For those of you who are uh, not watching live, um, well, I hope you enjoyed what you have so far. Uh, anyway, we'll be moving on. All right. I'll just record this for fun's sake. Um, this is set four once again of uh, PKU, Beijing University versus... Um, Tsinghua University, and I know you guys have watched it, so uh, I will go and fast forward a little bit because we are still looking for the mysterious um, cause of Beijing University's GG. Uh, you know, actually, you know what I'll do? I'll just add this at the end of the other game four um, because I would actually like to know also, and, and it seems that a great deal of... Uh, great number of you guys would like to know, and oh, oh I'm so sorry, guys. I actually uh, messed up the build order calling, too. It wasn't a uh, 12 pool from Red. The um, Beijing University player was actually a uh, 12 hatch, so both players started with um, identical builds. Uh, my mistake in the original cast. Um, so, yeah, we have identical builds uh, opening up. Just the only difference was the uh, timing of the lair and the, uh, the ling speed. But clearly, uh, this is not the, you know, we're not going to watch the whole game again. I'm just quite curious about exactly what happened um, that caused uh, caused the red player to go and, and bring all of his drones into the middle of the map. So we see the red player. He's moving out lings. Um, there's a big ling fight coming up at some point. Oh, I see. There's, oh, sorry. Uh, there's three lings at the upper left right here. And they probably are going to play a pivotal role here in this game later on. So let's slow down now. Um, so while I was looking at this, and I'm sure Red was looking at this too, Red being the um, Tsinghua University player, Big uh, big Zerg, oh, look at this. At the same time, Pex uh, went for a counterattack inside of the main with his three lings and uh, began killing stuff. So, oh, this is why we see the red player's lings not doing anything. Now it makes a lot more sense. Unfortunately for red, he didn't do a, a drone drill or anything. And, oh my goodness, he's getting all of his drones killed. He still has seven drones left, though. But, oh, and he doesn't pull them back, unfortunately. At the same time, he doesn't manage to do enough damage um, to... Uh, to the Beijing University player Pex uh, to to really make up for the fact that he's yeah well 
I mean, he still could have run his drones back <laughs> to his base to mine, but I guess at this point, he realized it is hopeless. I think this is just a uh, standard error of multitasking, not being able to multitask um, properly, and uh, certainly, not, you know, not his fault. Nobody can multitask perfectly, but this is the result. Big Zerg loses the game for Tsinghua. That was set for again, um, and I'll stop recording. This is the recap with the uh, correct notice of everything. All right.